Part of the research we've been working on in the Pasquale Lab at Rice University is using carbon nanotube fibers uh, as electrocardiogram electrodes. And so what we do is we're able to spin these soft threads. They feel like cotton thread to the touch, um, but they're as conductive as many metals. They're also as strong as materials such as uh, Kevlar and low-grade carbon fiber. And so we can use a standard sewing machine to be able to stitch the threads into t-shirts um, such as Steve is wearing right here. And we're then able to create sewable electrodes. These electrodes then make contact with the skin and they're able to then pick up the electrocardiogram. We then use the same CNT thread to conduct these signals to a relay point over on the side of the shirt. And we can then use Bluetooth technology to transmit it to a computer. What makes the carbon nanotube fibers really compelling, especially at the stage where we are now with the research that we're doing, is that the properties in terms of their tensile strength and their electrical conductivity are really starting to outperform the materials that exist on the market. These are the actual nanotubes, so this part is conductive. Here we're really excited to demonstrate one application of carbon nanotube fibers that can really have an impact to help patients with better diagnostics that are less invasive than the typical Holter monitor, or we can use them for athletes to be able to track their training process. Another interesting application of this technology is that we can use them for next generation military uniforms. So not only are we able to use this material for EKG electrodes, uh, we're also able to use them as antennas so that we can track the location of military personnel. Or we can also use them even as a ballistic material. So it's really an all purpose material here that can really be interfaced to do a whole bunch of different applications in one. For this application, for the wearable applications with the conductivity, the flexibility, the softness, you just don't find soft, flexible, thread-like materials that are comfortable to the touch, that you can work with, that are, uh, you know, you can build a bridge out of it or you can build a power line out of it, but you can also run it through a sewing machine. Like, nothing else behaves like this. Well, it's really gratifying to be able to go into the lab and make that.